Good morning. I'm on. Uh, I'm at Cracker Barrel for some breakfast. I'm on the road to Bend, Oregon to pick up our uh, Bend Tier job there. We had a slight setback reorganization in uh, Parksville, Tennessee, west of uh, Nashville. We were rear-ended. We were at a full stop for uh, traffic, full stop, wide open road. I mean, the, the, um, it wasn't like we were just over a hill or anything like that. We were wide open visibility, clear streets, clear weather, clear, perfect everything. We were at a full stop and we got rear-ended. Um, Lady and Alexis, um, no malice against her. Don't know anything about her, but I don't. I don't feel any malice towards her. Um, we were at full stop, and and she plowed into us full speed from behind. Um, she plowed into us for full speed behind. Never touched the brakes. Um, she smashed the back end of our car <clears throat> all the way up. Um, we spun around 180 degrees like a pinball machine. She deflected and went off to the right into the ditch. We did not hit the car in front of us, so we were not pancaked. The Subaru that we were in held up just fine. No airbags deployed because of a square hit in the back. My wife was turned sideways. She saw the car coming. She was turned out of her seat position. Um, I was square in the seat. I, I did not see it coming, except for that split second when she said, you know, love, love, love. And I knew it's panic, and I knew. <laughs> Anyhow, everyone's all right. The dog was uh, in her bed, her old nested area. Everything was uh, worked out um, really well. So, Wylan and, and the other lady both got neck braces. We heard the other lady had a broken arm. Wylan made it to the hospital. Uh, we got a ride in the ambulance. Um, Phoenix was able to go in the ambulance with me to, to the hospital and then into the, the room. When um, Wylan had got into the hospital ambulance, that was the last time I'd seen her. She had a neck brace on. We had two state troopers, uh, two cars behind us. There was at least two state troopers and some guy in a green uniform. Don't know who he was with, but the troopers were right there, right behind the incident. There was an off-duty Off-duty EMT, I believe his name is Larry. He offered to help um, and take a look at Wailan, which I accepted. Wailan was in a lot of pain. She was in a lot of panic. She was in shock. Um, but he, he had some neck braces in the car, and we held her head in place, got the neck brace on. But she was, she was uh, definitely out of it. Very scary looking. I was thinking, oh no, I'm gonna have to change diapers on her for the rest of her life or something. It was just really, really dark. The ambulance uh, got there. We're on the nowhere, so it took a while for them to get there. This is this is apple juice, by the way. <clears throat> Benham, we rode in the front seat. Phoenix and I. 60 pound dog in my lap, shaking like crazy. And uh, went on in the back, so I didn't see her, but I could hear her talking, that shit sounded better.
we got into, uh, got to the hospital. I waited outside by the employee smoking table and uh, they took her inside. Um, 20, well, 20 minutes later, 30 minutes later, they, 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 uh, they came out and got me and told me I'd come in the room. They came and got me and told me, come in the room, it's okay. Good news. Walked around that corner when I was sitting up in bed, holding her head up, no neck brace, no other braces on. They had uh, done the x-ray, the EKG, the everything. Her blood pressure was coming up, it had dropped really low. She was smiling, she was happy, and uh, everything was good. Um, that's when it hit me, that's when I got emotional. That uh, everything's gonna be okay. Okay, okay, so after we were released from the hospital shortly. They said they didn't find anything wrong. She was feeling fine. They released us. She's bruised and tender, but they released us. Uh, Phoenix was really hobbling around. She'd been on her feet for a long time. She wouldn't lay down on the, on the floor. She wouldn't relax. Uh, but we walked a couple blocks to the a hotel, Hampton Inn, dog friendly place. All right. Comfort food, nutrition. Just finished my um, breakfast. Feeling much better now. I rented the truck, got my lawn picked up in the Phoenix, made it over to the salvage yard to see our car, and uh, got all our gear out of there. It took like almost two hours to get all the gear out of it and into the pickup truck because everything it was so smashed up. I lost a lot more than what I thought I would. It, um, I didn't recover as much. Everything was just smashed away. Uh, no, yes, yeah, so it, it took a couple hours to get everything off of there and into the pickup truck. And we just, my lawn helped me out until she was just too fatigued. She couldn't do it anymore. And um, everything, everything was just pinched in and hard to get out. Couldn't op open the door on the left side. But the, the losses are catastrophic for us. Anyhow, what I have. Uh, they're all in the truck. We headed back home. I had to get one line of Phoenix home. That was my focus. Get one line of Phoenix home. Got him home. Took a day of rest and recovery because uh, the truck had a. I had rented it for a week, but it had a five-day minimum anyhow. Uh, took Friday as a day of rest and recovery. Um, <clears throat> packed up just what I needed for the road trip to return the car to Nashville, and then buy my new car in Nashville and then drive to Bend, Oregon since I was about a quarter of the way to Bend anyhow. Just complete that journey. Take my new rental vehicle, uh, my new tow vehicle, my new uh, purchase vehicle and um, I called it I called the new vehicle Norma. It didn't, it took a day to, to come to me but it, it's Norma after like being normal. <coughs> Um, so I'm on my way to Bend right now. I'm in Illinois. Um, bend and get a, get our trailer and then drag it back home. So everything's falling into place. Everything's gonna uh, recovering well. I expect um, full. Um, what do you call that? I, I, I expect to be made whole through the, without having to, since we don't have serious injury, um, somehow all the losses, time, days, extra days off from work, all that's kind of uh, quantifiable, uh, and I expect to be made whole without any huge issue. I don't want to score a big, you know, retirement win off of this. <clears throat> Although, the long as stars of retirement would help. I guess... You have losses where you have receipts, and then you have losses where you don't have receipts. And um, 
there's a there's a lot in this accident that uh, I mean, there's a lot of things I'm thankful for, um, and things worked out really well, especially our health. All the hard work can be replaced, um, and then there's stuff you just don't have receipts for. So anyhow, I'm done with breakfast. Uh, time to go pay the bill and, and hit the road and, and make some more phone calls and update all my family members. So thanks, thanks for listening to my story. Thanks for all the well wishes and um, a special thanks to the to the guardian angels. Uh, I definitely, definitely felt the presence. And, uh,